Alright. So, probably February, I believe, we did a cold start video, E85 blow through, small block, had been sitting entire winter, old ass E85, probably full of water, and uh, everybody's like, oh man, that thing's so hard to start, switch to E85. That's a nightmare. They're switched to, car switched to everything except a carburetor. Obviously, they've never seen one of these start when it's warm. So I told them, I'll uh, take a video and we'll uh, see what happens when it's warm. It's a little bit different when there's some heat in the motor when you start it. Sweating like crazy. As you can tell, it's a pretty warm day. It's about 900,000% humidity outside. So we'll switch this camera and I'll turn this thing on and we'll see what happens. Bet you it's not as bad as it was when it was 50. All right, let's see how we switch this guy. So the old baby's just sitting here, same as I left it. Didn't touch it, didn't do anything. I drove it, parked it. It's ice cold. There's no. There's no heat. It never been ran. Never mind my dirty. I think it's about 18 year old paint now. I lost track a long time ago, but it's really old. It needs a new paint job. It ain't perfect. But turn the battery on. Let's see. All right. See how much battery we got. A little bit. Trains is ice cold. We get a little light in there. There we go. No temperature. Obviously no boost. I wish it made boost to idle. It'd be sweet. <laughs> no heat. No temp. Turn the stereo off. Wide band just got warm. Let's see how it starts. That's a carburetor, people. You know what? Sometimes you actually have to pump them to get them to start, even when they're perfect. I know it's crazy, ain't it? See what she'll do. I pumped the gas. Got some fuel in that hole. Started it. These carburetors ain't the devil. They fucking work like mad. And they're easy as shit to tune. If you can't get this to work, you seriously got a problem and you probably shouldn't be trying to tune. That's after sitting for months. It ain't dying. It's not falling on its face. That thing has no temperature at all. E85 hasn't even started to want to ignite. And yet, this poor little carburetor that everybody hates works. It just works. This thing will run. It'll take 10 minutes for this thing to get up to operating temperature. Still ice cold. I haven't touched the gas. I ain't been in the truck. I haven't done nothing.
come to a point when that motor will get a little bit of temperature and you'll start seeing the moisture separate in the pipe. And those water droplets, when this motor gets up to temperature, it won't do that. I haven't adjusted anything on the carburetor. Haven't set no idle air fuels for the summer or spring or whatever you guys think you gotta do for a carburetor to work in different temperatures. It's the same way it was parked. We'll let it get warm. There's a Summit banner in the background. I don't really shop at Summit, but I really like that American flag, so I had to have it. to guess that motor's probably 100 degrees just starting to see the little bit of pipe smoke it usually happens around 140 you'll hear the motor when it gets to 140 the sound of it will physically change when that e85 starts to get into a warm cylinder and burn properly it won't sound the same This is old shit guys. I'm talking old. I can't even tell you the last time I put a set of plugs in it. I haven't adjusted the valves since I put springs on it three years ago. All it's done is sit the whole entire year last year. Bought the grid, bought boost controller, bought every damn thing on it. No chance to get it out, got cold. And it's the same way I'm going to run it. I'm not pulling a plug. I'm not checking timing. I'm not set it up in the computer on the grid and let her eat. temperature say we're getting a little bit past the hundred motor starting to even out there's the condensation it's pretty normal for the 85 when it's cold I guess right we just cracked a hundred I need to see it get up closer to 140 and then you'll start hitting that really nice burn point on the fuel. Motor's rich. 8.6 AFR, 8.7. That's not adjusted. I haven't turned no idle mixture screws or nothing like that from last three years ago when I raced it. It ain't got no freaking monster cam and some 1500 RPM idle. I don't know how well you can read that, but that's not indicative of some monster roller. It's a nice smooth 800 RPM.
different sitting around about 850 almost 900 but smoother you can definitely feel it when you're sitting in it when it hits to that point The only way to get this thing warm is put it on the brake. As you can tell, we're now past 150.
So there's literally, that's how hard it is to start an E85 blow through carburetor. And there's been a lot of people, especially on blow through forums and things of that nature. They do their best. None of us were tuners before we started tuning. We all had to learn. It all takes time. And I don't try to get on there and bash anybody's product. And I ain't saying E85 carburetors are God's best gift to the world because I know EFI works just as good. But it ain't the devil, and it damn sure ain't hard to operate. Now, I didn't have anything going on today. Recently, past weekend, I lost my mom. Been doing a lot of soul searching and trying to remember things in my own life that I could probably change about me and family members I need to see more of. Obviously, there's probably a few I need to see less of. But I promised you guys a video showing how easy this thing was to start when it was warm outside. As you saw, a couple pumps of the throttle and starting the key switch is it. I drive it up to the starting line the same way when it comes off the trailer. There really isn't anything to it. Once you get it dialed in, you might play with some jetting if you go richer, more boost, or maybe. Really ain't a lot of tuning either. Like once it's set, I set my jets. They're the same jets I run at nine, at nine pounds that I dynoed on at 22. Nine pounds that made 800 and 68 wheel take it 22 it was a thousand fifty seven wheel didn't even turn a screwdriver I didn't adjust anything only thing I adjusted was the boost just not as hard as people want to tell you everybody gonna get on the internet Car carbs are the devil if they fit what you need they'll do what you need if you need to make 4,000 horsepower then go EF go EFI put some methanol in it and have fun if you want something you can just build, it's easy to tune, you can drive it on the street, you ain't got to fuck with it all the time. I don't know. I love I love my CSU carburetor. Kevin Van Noy has always been the man. He's always been there. He's always helped me. Obviously, he helped me learn how to tune because I wasn't a fucking tuner. Most I knew how to tune was, hell, I didn't know how to tune anything before I had a wide band. That's probably taught me more than any one thing in the history of the car. But as you can see, watch the video. Things ain't hard to start warm. Everybody got a misjudge by it being 50 degrees out and motor temp was probably 30s. So that's, uh, told you I'd make it. Actually feel pretty good. It was nice to hear it run. Um, been a while. And now I just need to clean it up, get this old beast out to a racetrack somewhere and start putting some rubber down. Thanks, guys.